When we are given an algebra word problem, there is a series of steps that we should do if we want to be able to get the right answer and get full marks for showing our work. Step one, define the variables. Step two, create the equation. Step three, solve the equation. And step four, state the answer applying the appropriate unit of measure. In example one, if I add seven to my age and divide the answer by four, I get eight as a result. What is my age? The first step is to define the variables. So we say, let x equal, and we define our variable. Usually, the question at the end tells you what you need to define your variable as. So what is my age means let x equal my age. Defining the variable helps us see what we're doing when we're building our equation. It makes the next step easier. Step two, create the equation. Interpreting this problem, if I add 7 to my age, that means I am saying x plus 7, my age plus 7. And divide by the answer by 4, well that means I can take this expression and divide it by 4. I get 8 as a result means I need an equal sign, and this is equal to 8. Now it's time to do algebra to solve our equation, step 3. Since my algebraic expression is being divided by 4, I multiply both sides by 4. And this allows me to cancel the 4's over here. My equation has now become x plus 7 is equal to 8 times 4, which is 32. Now I just have to move the 7 to the other side of the equals. x equals 32 minus 7, and I know my answer, x is 25. Then I state the answer with the unit of measure, step 4, I am 25 years old. This series of steps can help us get full marks on algebra word problems. In this second example, Three consecutive odd numbers total 159. What are they? 